Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. For those of you who are very uh, conversant on social media, about two or three weeks ago, I somebody was asking me when will um, Very Dark Man be released? You know, I've seen the glimpse of the young man on the social media, but I really don't know what he does so much. But I guess he is um, one of these social people that drag their kinds on the social media. So I was asking, what's my business with a uh, very dark man? I don't know what he did, but eventually I got to know that uh, he got uh, involved with Bob Risky, the man that has uh, made himself a woman. And if you address him as a man, he will threaten to arrest you. If you call him a man, he will threaten you with arrest because he seems to be very powerful and highly connected. So, but the young man made some statements out of frustration because I know I saw some videos of uh, of uh, gay people, so to speak, arrested uh, in a place, one, one city in Nigeria. I think they were attending a gay marriage and uh, police swooped in on them and got them all arrested so very dark man seems to be to be asking why has bob risky not been arrested because without being told bob risky is a very bad influence on youth and to cap it all and so he made a statement that was very derogatory and indicting on the police authorities and so he was arrested I, even though that after that statement he issued an apology but i think they deemed the apology late i don't know if he's out now i'm not a social media person whether you believe it or not is another thing i don't know if he is out now or not but then um few days after that a certain video of um bob risky winning the best female dress uh, best female dresser whatever came out on social media <music> You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. <laughs> Okay, come on. We have the guys too. Come on, come on. God bless you. God bless you. Please stay here. You too stay. What's the price for the best rest? I'm told this one million naira. Let me back of you. You can judge it. What's your name? You are not allowed to share me. You are not allowed to be. You are not allowed to be. You are not allowed to be. Let me commune with my judges. I will be back. And I can tell you that uh, our winner for tonight is And people began to ask questions. How is it possible that a man in the meeting and the competition, or if, if that was a competition, I don't know, of females, women, how is it possible that a same society that allegedly say they don't want to have anything to do with gay people could give such an award to a man, a man who we know to be a man, Idris Okoye, they gave him such an award and... Um, that got you know people talking and uh, you know sometimes we we actually criticize people but sometimes those people we criticize tend to make sense more than we who think we are sane you know um this boy portable you know called the the organizers of such uh event out how come how is it possible that um a man could win such now uh, uh, l let me just show you the video but not what i'm talking about today i'm actually talking about something deeper but i have to connect it with uh with the story i'm telling you now so that you will understand the foundation um i'm trying to build now he called them out but before that look at bob risky if you don't know bob risky if you have not seen him before if you have not heard about him there is no way you would fathom 
room that this person you are seeing now is a, a man but he is the one that won their um award that was supposed to be for women listen to him and then what portable said after this i'm angry right now you guys are jealous yeah, jealous I want the best female dress. Like, I don't resemble your, your favorite right to wake up the old Nigerian problem. For end. <laughs> wake up <laughs> <and put it. laughs> You know what is apposite? Stood. <laughs> I don't be that person, please. No, we dress very classy. We represent. We do what those bitches cannot do. And I came home with the money. People are jealous they eye me. Thanks to my makeup artist. Our foot glam. I love my makeup and thanks to my stylist. Mimi O Karen. Mimi O Karen. O Karen. I love my outfit, guys. Woo! Guys, we brought the one millionaire home. And as we say, rubbish. That's why, right, yes, eh, they give Bobby Whiskey best female dress of the year for movie. Share now, don't be activist yet. In your touch, man, we do nice, we do breast. Now, others ladies, fine, fine ladies, where they have to move, eh, they want full award. They want you know, you look full of Korean award to talk with your opinion. Bobby Whiskey, now, man, now, are we? Bobby Whiskey, go need Bobby, oh, for what's your Bobby? Bobby Whiskey, go need the, oh, for what's your Bobby? Ah, et ba ye de o orun moru ah on wa ni o wa ba bi risk ya gan se ye na okay now you brother we will know can they call yourself sister if you come my hood to ba mura bi obirin you have go beat you am ma fi hood ba ti eje fire hood na ma fi no ye when you come you come if you come my area dem a je ba pade you are brotherhood dem ba brotherhood don't call yourself sister hood to ba pade mo mu ko ja fi hood ba ti eje awa yo mo gi na fire hood we fi buy ye je eyin dem ba ye je ni Oh, yeah, well, no. So, ever my promote, I'm not done, Dini. I'm for what she did. Oh, 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 now so that was it there and then a uh, few days after that bob Risky was arrested and detained by the police guess what his offense was not for being a cross dresser not that police you know acted based on the challenge that was thrown at them now he was he was arrested or spraying money in an event so you can now see why i said when will um Odumeje and the rest of other yahoo pastors be arrested now because uh, I I'm not going to say any other thing much more than that but you know why I'm I'm somehow happy that at least Bob Whiskey has been he has been jailed as a man because he told them according to the report I read that he was a man and so definitely he would not be sent to the prison where women are he is spending his six month terms in the midst of men so at least maybe he will be corrected his his his, his mental derangement uh probably would receive some kind of torch you know and that could be the proper process of the correction i think being sent to a correctional center you know at this stage in his life is a very good one you know irrespective of whether others would receive the same measure of punishment i don't want to say what i think i don't want to say why i think there could be you know others but then now going through these uh judgments that was given hello and welcome to tvc news midday we are staying with the arraignment of idris okunaya popularly known as bobriski as justice abimbola awogboro of the federal high court in lagos has sentenced the cross-dresser to six months in prison with no option of fine. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission had, on the 5th of April, arraigned Mr. Okuneye on a six-count charge ranging from abuse of the Naira to money laundering. The court, however, dismissed the money laundering charges but convicted him for Naira abuse after he confessed to the crime. The court also ordered that he be remanded in EFCC detention in Lagos. The judge also adjourned hearing for judgment into the case to the 9th of April. However, However, the court could not sit due to the Idel Fetri public holiday. In another development, the Lagos State... I know I've seen some politicians, some governors, throw money in a party. I've seen... Um, okay, uh, let's let's move away from, from governors and politicians. Let's just pretend as if you didn't hear me. Now, I've seen pastors, Yahoo pastors, I call them. Your pastor may be involved, you know, being reigned with bundles of our Naira. <laughs>
In a manibu man and it is almost a cultural thing with my people we spray we spray money spray money you know in an event so if we're even looking at people who probably are mostly endangered at this point in time based on this judgment that has been given i could say it is my people but let's look away from that that's not what i'm saying now i've made several videos here where i call these pastors yahoo pastors because when you see a pastor that suddenly on a pulpit turned the pulpit turned the church to party in center where yahoo boys who have made money because he prayed for them and prophesied for them that they will go and come back drug dealers and they come in the way of paying their tithes because that's the way they pay their tithe. That is the way they give their offering. You know, they stand the man up and they begin to rain notes of Naira. Some even spread dollars. Now, but because it is in Nigeria, you know, I don't know how uh, the American law treats it. All right. Now, so, but many of them have gone scot free. And I think probably they have used Bob Whiskey, who is fairly, very popular, fairly popular, you know, to set a henchmark that if anybody now is arrested and prosecuted and sentenced and sent to jail nobody will say ah, why is this happening nobody will say his pastor is being persecuted because he's a pastor and nobody will say uh this that businessman is being persecuted because he's an Igbo man now but is a yoruba man and they have used him to set a very big example if there are other reasons why this was meted out to him i see some people saying that that was a miscarriage of miscarriage of justice that's a business but the law is the law and you see you may think i am i am vindictive you may think i'm wicked you may think i'm harsh but i think i was very happy when i i read also that there was no option of fine he's going to cool his head six six months you know with cool men all right cool men in there and when he comes out we will see if he will continue to be the bob risky that is very risky is you know he is a risk to the future generation and according to what portable said which makes sense a lot those people those irresponsible people that organize that's irresponsible let you know the events might not be responsible but them giving up that is very was very responsible now that was in a way encouraging you show young boys that you can disguise yourself destroy yourself from being a man to becoming a woman so that you can you can gain ship popularity and you can also win awards for for abusing the the creation of god for abusing the handwork of god you can be recognized now those people that did that inadvertently you know are encouraging the unholy relationship that we don't want to talk about in africa they are trying to advertise that that they are trying to be very friendly and patronizing of a man dressing like a woman and behaving like a woman living like a woman and god frowned at it so the thing is this you see begin to tell your pastors now that the era of uh, gangsterism on the pulpit is ending you know i did a, a, a video two days ago that i i titled um the gangsters paradise you see those are the mannerisms of gangsters of gangsters that is how they are known so will the major soon be arrested and other co-travelers like him who claim to be pastors but they are not let's know what you think about this in the comment section i'll be seeing you in the next video and i await also what you have to tell me god bless you from me to you shalom In Philippians chapter 3, you begin at verse 1. Paul begins to speak. He gets to verse 3 and he says, We are the circumcision. We worship God in spirit. Help me tonight. We worship God how? In spirit. You go to worship meetings and you are almost embarrassed. All the dances in immoral videos are on our pulpits. 
we claim to be bringing sounds from heaven and yet we are bringing those sounds in the gyration of demonic spirits so we have power we have power but we can't affect society one or two cripples will walk out from a wheelchair but our societies are still under the influence of darkness power is almost like a cost to this generation In the days of Idaosa, it was a blessing to be a powerful man of God. Because if you found one man that had the power of God, an entire village can be liberated from witchcraft. But now, men are anointed and they have used the anointing to build mansions. And now they have monies in their bank account. And the very nation in which they live has not felt the impact of the immortal spirit. But we gather in our numbers every week every month we are the circumcision we worship in spirit in spirit not in the flesh you can be angry with me bro but go and check our music videos what's the difference girls are dancing dancing we are we are we are, we are exhibiting bentley's and, and and all kinds of cars what's the difference between our music videos and the music videos of the people who are singing for demonic spirits what's the difference a worship song is not just lyrics a worship song is what a spirit pioneers if it comes from an immortal spirit then it will cause you to ascend into the courts of the great god i don't sing a song because they say the man who sang it is a worship minister what spirit is powering it when you see a video that a man is all clothed in all kinds of things he looks like what the world is our videos with bentley's everywhere and girls dancing what is the difference between that and the video of the man that you know that you know that i know that you know what's the difference we are the circumcision so even within our ranks yahoo boys now are coming to spray pastors on the pulpit oh i have told you this year is that year that the great one is jealous for his church he's jealous don't be surprised that you will see men of God die on the pulpit. This year, God will visit men and warn them. I am jealous for my sheep. I am jealous for my sheep.